Hello everyone. Um, a few weeks ago, I had this uh, email from a Chinese firm. It's called Meiden, and it says if you do me a little, uh, just use my paints for a, a quick one, doing a little painting. And the firm is Meiden, so they sent me these watercolors, which seem very good. A lot of them here, uh, very very nice. Uh, so we'll give them a check out. These are the watercolours. We'll check them out. And also they sent me paper, which is the paper now here. So we'll, che we'll check this out as well. Now, I'm just painting on it, but what the hell is it? I'll just take, take this top piece off by putting in my a pen knife through the through the top part of the pad. I'm going down it in a slanting way. Very hard to get off. So This is the paper, it's very, it's not a bad paper, put it down there, it's not a bad paper, so we'll give it a test out, um, also they sent uh, brushes as well, uh, a complete set of brushes, and they're very good as well, they're not bad at all, although they look like they're hard, they're very soft brushes, very very soft. Uh, so not much different than, uh, although they look to be made of nylon, they, they seem to be uh, very soft like sable type of a brush. They also sent, sent uh, like a, a round palette like this one here. This is the palette they sent which I put a few colours in. And there's the palette and uh, this is the paper, we're going to try the paper out with these colours. Uh, with the paints. I've put a few paints in here ready so we can have a go at it. Right, so here we are. And I'll just put some... I'll, I'll, I'm using some ink here, some black. It's acrylic actually. Acrylic uh, and it's uh, acrylic uh, liquid text black acrylic ink. That's what it's called. Now I'm using a a bamboo stick, so let's get going with this. Will you? That's your little wall. I'm going up there, down that, turning to the left there. Then you get some trees here in front of the wall. But turning to the wall here, you get. Uh, a gable end here and you get uh, another part of the roof coming into it here you can put more detail in if you like but that's about the idea of it so then we can do a painting on this in a minute So the paper seems very, very nice, not much wrong with it.
I was I was going to put a church there, but we just put a wall. Maybe yeah, we could put a little church there, couldn't we? Hey, that would have to be a bit lower. Just uh, not very much. And there's our not going to go into detail so That's all we need. There we are, that's uh, enough. Now there's uh, the paper. Very good. So now we'll, we'll uh, pick up one of our brushes. We'll just... Uh, I'll now the paints. These are the paints. So we'll start with a little bit of blue.
a wispy sky. Bit of brown. little bit of yellow into it here a little bit of a blue I may not have the perfect colours but Hello everyone um, A few weeks ago I had this uh, email from a Chinese firm it's called Meaden and it says if you'll do me a little um, just use my paints for a, a quick one doing a little painting and the firm is mean so they sent me these watercolours which seem very good a lot of them here uh, very very nice uh, so we'll give them a check out these are the watercolours we'll check them out and also they sent me paper which is the paper now here so we'll, che we'll check this out as well now I'm see the painting on it but what the hell is it on? I'll just take take this top piece off by putting in my a pen knife through the through the top part of the pad. I'm going down it in a slanting way. Very hard to get off. So this is the paper. It's very. It's not a bad paper. Put it down there. It's not a bad paper. So we'll give it a test out. Um, also, they sent uh, brushes as well, uh, a complete set of brushes, and they're very good as well. They're not bad at all, although they look like they are, they're very soft brushes, very, very soft. Uh, so, not much different than, uh, although they look to be made of nylon, they, they seem to be uh, very soft like sable style. They also sent sent uh, like a, a round palette like this one here. This is the palette they sent, which I put a few colours in. And there's the palette. And uh, this is the paper. We're going to try the paper out with these colours, uh, with the paints. I've put a few paints in here ready so we can have a go at it. Right, so here we are. And I'll just put some... I'll, I'll, 
I'm using some ink here, some black. It's acrylic actually, acrylic, uh, and it's uh, acrylic uh, liquid text black acrylic ink. That's what it's called. Now I'm using a, a bamboo stick, so let's get going with this. Will you? That's your little. Wall. I'm going up there, down that, turning to the left there. Then you get some trees here in front of the wall. But turning to the wall here, you get uh, a gable end here. And you get uh, another part of the roof coming into it here. You can put more detail in if you like, but that's about the idea of it. So then we can do a painting on this in a minute. So the paper seems very, very nice, not much wrong with it. I will, I was going to put a church there, but we just put a wall, maybe, yeah, we could put a little church there, couldn't we, eh? That would have to be a bit lower. Just uh, not very much. There's our
I'm not going to go into detail, so. That's all we need. There are, that's uh, enough. Now there's uh, the paper. Very good. So now we'll, we'll uh, pick up one of our brushes. We'll just, uh, I'll give it a blow with, because it's it's rushing it a bit, this. So let's just give it a blow with this. It only takes a minute or two to dry anyway. So here we go. Now the paints. These are the paints. So we'll start with a little bit of blue. A wispy sky. Now a little bit of brown. little bit of yellow into it here a little bit of a blue I may not have the perfect colours but I'm not I'm just uh, I've just picked five colours and I'm just using those. Now a 
bit of yellow and blue of course we need our This is just the, the trees just in front of the church. There we are. Now pick up a, a, a bit of a tube, a tube, just a tube, and dip out the top of the tube, eh? Just the top of the tube. Uh, the, the very, seem very good, these, uh, these pairs are very good, especially when things are going so uh, expensive, aren't they? I'll just try that off. Say that was uh, too bad, would you?
this is a wall here. There we are. There's a wall there. Well, some landing on it. And we'll leave that at that now, there we are. It's okay, isn't it? Hey. So that's not bad, is it? The paints there. And the paper's not too bad. It's quite good on ordinary paper, my ordinary paper. So, there you have it. Quick look at the all the colours you'd need there. There's all the colours, the total colours there. And that uh, comes in that box of 24. I just wet that there. Yeah, that's okay, isn't it? That's the box of it. And that's your little painting. With these colours. So that's not so bad, is it, Paul? Meaden is the name, and it's the... I think they sell that medium because I have bought some myself uh, bit brushes and that which have been quite good on the uh, on Amazon. Been quite good. The, what you can all you can go on top of it again and it's okay. Say so you wanted to you, see a smaller brush. Yeah, just, just put a little more coat on, shall we? A little more coat on top. Here. That's on top of it. That's what they call glazing. With a nice soft brush which is very very nice isn't it what do you think of that one hey eh? Just a little bit of colour on that, just a bit more shade, 
I don't think they are lovely. Hey. Eh? A little bit, always a little bit darker on the chimney. Yeah. Just under there. Oh, I've got a bit under there. On the, of course, you can see that bit. Now, are you happy with that? Well, I would say that's quite good, isn't it? Okay. Now that's your watercolours. And your paper. Which is very good. Medium. 10 by 7 inch, which is not bad. 260 millimetre by 180 millimetre. For those who can think in that. 20 sheets uh, at 30 grams. It's cold pressed this and it's acid free. And it has a little bit of pith on it, like, you know, a bit of roughness, because it's cold pressed and not hot pressed. Uh, yeah, it's not hot pressed, which, which would be dead shiny on plat. So this is just a nice for a watercolour. Okay. Well, I'll see you all again. I hope you like that one. Now, that's Meaden Watercolours. This paper is Saunders Rope. Okay. Thanks for looking in. Palette with eight and your nice bro these brushes are really soft very very soft I think they'll be very good for any kind of paint you see the, there's this one here which is you can make trees with put black on my hands I'll pop that black ink with the black ink, you can use a, an ordinary pen like that. Or you can use just uh, a matchstick even. Sometimes I use a, an ordinary pen, even with a black pen like that. I use either this sketching ink which is very, very good and dries perfectly hard, which can't be wiped off. It's very, very light fast and fast. And also, one of my favourites is this uh, Liquitex Black, which I've done that in. And it's not nothing's come up off it, has it? OK, well, I'll say that. Thanks very much for looking in. And thanks to Meaden for those uh, little pairs they sent me to try. Okay, take care. God bless everyone. Meaden can be bought on Amazon. Not bad brushes. Okay, thanks for looking in everyone.